Facebook ads might get complex and confusing, especially if you're a beginner. So this video is going to be kind of like a Facebook ad tutorial for beginners, where I'm gonna walk you through the differences between Facebook ad campaign versus ad sets versus ads. I'm gonna walk you through the differences between each of those elements. I'm gonna show you how to think when it comes to creating each of every, every one of those elements. And I'm gonna walk you through a real life example of how I would structure a webinar campaign for your business if I I was in your shoes. So if you're looking to grow your business or make more money by gaining a deeper understanding of Facebook ads, keep on watching because we're about to begin. Hey, I'm Natalia from nataliaroy.com. I own a marketing agency that helps businesses thrive in this digital era. And if you're new here, this channel is all about helping you create your own profitable and freedom-based digital business that you can start, manage, and grow from home or from anywhere in the world using nothing but your laptop and a Wi-Fi connection. If you're into that, I would love for you to subscribe. I publish new videos every single week. So as you log into your Facebook ad account, you will most likely see a screen that looks like this. And already, as you can see, all of the elements that we've already talked about are right here. You have your campaigns in this tab here. Then you have one tab for your ad sets and another tab for your ads. The thing is, if you're just getting started, it's probably terribly confusing as to how to think about each, how to use each. So a different way I propose you might start thinking about your Facebook ads is in a structure that kind of looks like that, where you have the high tier that is essentially your campaign under each campaign you have different ad sets and under different ad sets you have different ads right so you have tier one your campaign tier two your ad set and then tier three are the actual ads and what i'm going to do for you right now is i'm going to explain each and every one of those elements as it relates to actually building a real life campaign so let's say that you have a business some kind of an expert business and you sell a product and the way that you want to sell that product is let's say using a webinar campaign and if you're not familiar with what a webinar is so a webinar is essentially a presentation a video presentation where you will teach people something and then at the end you will pitch your products so the way that this campaign works is you have a registration page where people register to watch your training then they get to choose the date and time in which they want to watch the, that training then they are moved directly into the training page the webinar page will all you have is like a headline and a video and then at the end you will send them to the sales page of your product and then they can buy and you can make a lot of money so let's say how we can utilize this structure in order to create a campaign for your business's webinar. So let's start with understanding what a campaign is. And a campaign is essentially where you get to choose what is the goal that you're trying to achieve right now. Once you get to log into your Facebook interface, you're going to find different types of goals that you can choose from. You can build an awareness type campaign where you can um, essentially reach as many people as possible and let them know about your brand. You can choose a consideration campaign where you will drive traffic, maybe gain engagement, maybe gain app installs, video views or something like that. And the last type of campaign you might want to run is the conversion campaign, where essentially you want people to actually take action, like become a lead or buy something, check out your store's catalog or something like that. So under campaigns, this is where you choose that your goal, your objective, what is it that you're trying to achieve? Now, for our example, we will most likely run three different campaigns within this funnel, within this webinar thingy that we're trying to make profitable. The first type of campaign is we'll most likely want to run a lead generation campaign, right? And this will fall under the conversion section. You will choose the conversion type of campaign and you will essentially tell Facebook, I want to get leads. I want people who will come to my registration page and will actually sign up to watch my training. Then the second type of campaign you might want to run is actually a watch campaign where you will actually choose maybe video views under consideration so that more people will actually watch the webinar. And the way you do that is simply tell Facebook all of those people who signed up into my campaign, but they haven't actually watched the webinar. Maybe they signed up and forgot. Maybe something came up, their kid cried, something happened. Please get them back into this video so that they can watch it. And then the last type of campaign you might want to run is 
another conversion campaign, this time for sales, where you will tell Facebook, please take all of those leads and all of those people who watched my webinar or did not watch my webinar, simply sign up for it and simply run sales ads with the goal of as many people as possible. I want them to buy my product. So that's when it comes to actually defining the campaign side. Now, once you define your campaign, you want to create your ad sets. Quick reminder, ad sets is in the second tier, the second level under a campaign. So a campaign might have several different ad sets, not might, it will have several different ad sets. Now, the goal of ad sets is to actually choose your audience and your placements, meaning who do you want to target and where do you want them to see your ad? Do you want them to see your ad on their desktop? on their phone, on their tablet, where do you want this ad to be placed? This is the purpose of ad sets. And let me give you an example. So let's say that we um, have our lead generation campaign running for this webinar funnel, and we want to test different audiences to kind of see which audience give us gives us the best results. So for example, different types of ad sets that I might create under my lead generation campaign is for an ad set for people who engage with my page, maybe page fans or Instagram Instagram followers. I will most likely run an ad set for my website visitors, another one for my email list, and, and another one for maybe fans or brands that are like my own. For example, Grant Condor fans, Marie Forleo fans, maybe Gary V fans. And I'm going to put all of these ad sets under my campaign and let Facebook tell me which of these people will give me the best results, right? Now, quick note here, there is also a thing where you will need to choose your budget for your campaign, essentially, but Facebook does allow you two different ways of doing that. The first way will be through the campaign and the second one will be through your ad budget. So you can play with this and see which of those options you like more. If you have any questions about that specifically, I can make another video about exactly how to determine your budget. Now, in the third part of our campaign, once we have set up our ad sets, it's time to determine which kind of ads we actually want to run. And again, ads are located under the ad sets, meaning for each and every one of the ad sets that you've already created. For example, for this campaign, we've created these types of ad sets. Under each and every one of those ad sets, we will have different ads to test. And the goal of testing ads is to see what kind of messaging lands best in order to achieve my goal. In other words, what should I talk about? What should I say in my ads in order to bring the best results? And here you can test different types of messages. For example, Let's say that under my um, ad set of engage of people who engage with my page, I have an ad that I can create where I talk about keto versus veganism. I have another ad that I talk about the perfect keto diet plan, and maybe another ad where I talk about how to not give up when it's hard, when your diet is not really working out as well as you would like it to be. And that's essentially how I structure my campaigns. So to summarize, I will have different types of campaigns running for different goals that I have within my buyer's journey within my funnel, then under each and every one of those campaigns, I will have different ad sets, essentially targeting different types of people, right? Different targeting. And then under each and every one of those ad sets, I will have different ads so that I can test my messaging and see what lands best. Now, quick note, the way that I will most likely create this is I will create only one ad set at first. Under this ad set, I will create all of my ads and then Facebook will give you the option to simply duplicate your ad sets so you will have multiple ads running for multiple ad sets and you can literally test what works the best. So I hope this video has been helpful for you in understanding what is the difference between Facebook ads campaigns versus ad sets versus ads. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't signed up to this channel yet, what is up with you? If you want to learn more about exactly how to start and grow your own online business, if you want to learn about how to create effective marketing for your business that comes from the heart and doesn't make you feel like a sleazeball, and if you want to learn how to manage your business productively, like the boss that you are without your business ending up taking over your life, subscribe to this channel right now and hit the bell to be notified every single time I release a new video. I'm going to see you in the next video. Until then, yada bye.